When everything falls apart When you're dumb but you feel so smart Cause that's what mama's supposed to say Look both ways when you cross the street Keep a steady line and keep your feet straight And everything will fall in line Yeah, I've heard that lie too But what you gonna do when the devil comes looking for you? What up guys, what up guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to the channel. Appreciate you guys coming, you guys are amazing. Happy to have you here. Sorry, uh, yeah, today we got some more Taylor Swift, we're gonna hear the song Dear John, Dear John Mayer, your body is a wonderland. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe, please share, please comment, please leave love. Definitely go follow the Patreon. We got some Taylor Swift on there, and we're going to be doing more Taylor Swift. We're going to be uh, reacting to her whole first album on there, plus other stuff throughout the week. But every Wednesday, definitely a new video. And also, if you want to request a song, you may click the Buy Me a Coffee link in the description and go ahead and do that. Uh, today, we got Dear John requested from... Megan. Megan says, hey, I really think you need to see Dear John Live by Taylor since you reacted to Would've, Could've, Should've, both about John Mayer and genuine lyricism. And uh, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Here we go. After this commercial. Commercials, man. They're killing me. All right, all right, let's go to the back. Here we go. Ooh. That's beautiful. I love that. I think everybody likes that. How could you not? You ever have the, some people could see it on you and you don't you don't even know it or maybe you know it inside but you don't really say none you don't really talk about it about what's wrong with you what you're going through uh, or sometimes you can mask it yourself um, actually just recently I was like yeah I'm you know I went through some and I was like I feel good I'm happy you know I'm healed I got this place that last shit's going good but then you know I smoked a little wheat weed and come to find out I wasn't okay. You know, I was sad. And that that mask came off, even to myself. You know, I wasn't pretending to be happy. I thought I was happy. And uh, now I'm happy. But at that time, I wasn't. And my mask came off, and it showed me, well, maybe I'm not. Maybe I need to take some time and think about what's going on in my life. I need lyrics, guys, because some of the, some stuff she's saying I can't hear. So we're gonna look up lyrics. Dear John, Taylor, <laughs> that movie. Dear John's popping up. All right, we're getting the lyrics. I swear I was fine. You paint me a blue sky, then go back and turn it to rain. All right, so, you know, basically you lift me up, make me happy, make me feel good, and then you turn it to rain and sadness and shit. John Mayer, you are an asshole. And I lived in your chest, but you 
Oh my God! How relatable! God, we should make a, a compilation of me saying how relatable. How many people have you been with? One day, nice, sweet, angelic. Maybe the next day or a couple of hours later. Who the hell are you? Did I step on an eggshell? Did I crack a shell? Did I crack an eggshell? <laughs> Maybe, because you're freaking out. You're not nice right now. And we were just getting along. We just went on that sweet, beautiful date. I just bought you flowers. I just bought you chocolate. And now you're spitting in my face. What's going on here? What a catchy chorus, man. What a catchy chorus. Dear John, I see it all now that you're gone. Don't you think I was too young to be messed up, messed with? Hindsight is twenty twenty. Sometimes you're not able to see the shit when you're in the shit. You're not able to see it until you're past it, until you're further ahead. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, it's funny how you get that x-ray vision. Uh, what, what else did she say? The girl in the dress that cried the whole way home. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of hard, hurtful when you're a younger person dating an older person. They're more experienced. They're more maybe manipulative, maybe unknowingly manipulative because they're just been through shit. They know more shit. They've been, you know, you know. Oh, I Wait a minute. Or maybe it's you and you're sick. You're sick need to give love and take it away. That really will fuck your head up, man. That's what messes people's head up. That that we're good. We're great. Boom. Then we're not. Then you disappear. Then you come back. Then we're not. Then we're good. Then we're not. That up and down shit is toxic as hell. That will trip your brain up. It's It's... Kind of, it's really bad. It really screws with your head. It's it's a fucking big tactic of a narcissist, too. Guys, I'm gonna leave the episode. I'm gonna leave a couple of my narcissist episodes of my podcast in this description. And definitely go follow it. Uh, just so you could see, you could hear me talk about it. Because I talk about in depth with it. Relationships I've been through. Definitely go subscribe to that channel. If it gets a, It's been kind of dying, the channel. It's not doing great. But I don't put as much work into it as I should. But if you guys start supporting it, I will get back on it. They couldn't, they, uh, she's got some guts, man, singing about a famous artist, knowing he probably would hear this.
and he's really famous. So is she, but that takes kind of guts, man. That takes balls. It's scary writing about someone that nobody knows, but John Mayer, I appreciate that. And I want to comment on something else she said. I if I if I knew what I know now, basically she said is I would have ran away. I should have listened to the people who were telling me to run away. But sometimes it's good to go through that shit, man, cuz it's it does add a lot to you. It changes you it, and for the better, you know. You might be suffering now, but it's going to make you better. Hold on, guys. I got to do something really, really quick. All right. God damn. Oh, baby. Let me comment on something real quick. When you're 19, when you're 19, when I'm nine, when I was 19, when you guys were 19, you feel old. You feel like I'm grown up. I can handle shit. I'm ready to love. And maybe you are. But you know, it's still very new to you. It's still very fresh to you. I don't know half the shit I thought I knew at 19 that I do now. You think you know everything. You never know any everything. This guy I know always says, I was 62 when I realized I didn't know shit. And I was like, you're right. You don't know shit. I'm just kidding. I didn't say that to him. But it's true. You never will know everything. But 19, you really are naive and, you know... You're just all about love and googly eyes. Let's hear this beautiful solo. What'd she say? I took your matches. You're an expert at sorry and keeping lines blurry. Never impressed by me acting, acing your tests. All the girls that you've run dry have tired, lifeless eyes because you burned them out, but took your matches before the fire could catch me. Damn. So he was going to burn her, but she... I guess he pulled out before he could burn her and... You know, all the tests and the mind games and all that bullshit. She's saying he did a lot of effed up stuff. She's saying he did a lot of toxic stuff. She's bas He's basically a goddamn narcissist. A narcissist. You guys, I never knew that Taylor was so relatable in the narcissist way. And which is, you don't know, you guys don't know how... And big that was in my life. If you check out my podcast, you'll know like it was a big thing. I'm talking suicidal thoughts, wanting to end my life, obsessing over these videos about narcissism. That's why, like, I really want you guys to go listen to that podcast, especially if you dated one. And people try to convince me, no, they weren't. They were not a narcissist. They were not a narcissist. It was uh, your, uh, you know, it was just toxic. It was messed up. No, no, I know. I know for a fact. I will go to my grave. I will stand on the mountain saying I know what the hell they were. Covert narcissist. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it, but the way she's talking about John Mayer, he sounds like one, too, an asshole. I was
so beautiful. You know what? Seeing her here in 2011 and then the more newer videos, you can see how her face has changed. You can see the armor on her. You can see the scars on her. Just look at her face, her eyes, the way she's she changed. I'm telling you guys, that shit will change you forever. And this ain't the only messed up relationships she's been in. That shit is damaging to your soul, but also it makes you strong. It makes you a shell. I say it makes you a fucking superhero. It makes you armor, body proof, bulletproof. <laughs> 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 She was like, what, what? Taylor's like, you should have known, you bastard. Singing them sweet songs. Your body is a wonderland. He should be saying, I am an asshole. Anyway, guys, that was fun, man. I'm sorry, John Mayer. I do like a couple John Mayer songs. I do. I ain't going to lie. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you for coming. You guys are amazing. And that's all we got. Go subscribe to that Patreon. Go uh, request a song below. And uh, yeah, man, we out. Adiós.